All right. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today's moto vlog is going to be about leadership. Um, let's think here. I'm on my way to work right now. I'm running a little bit late. And uh, I don't know, my bike feels really weird today. But anyways, leadership. Um, the current job that I'm at, I've been to six different locations all across California. And I am a, I am part of the leadership there. I'm one of the, uh, one of the, uh, a senior men member of management at the store, um, at every store I've been to. I've worked my way up from the bottom. And over the past uh, two years that I've, wow, my bike feels so weird today. Over the past two years that I've been uh, working at these six different locations, the success of the company really depends on the it, on the ability of the leadership to lead. And one of the biggest things that I've seen um, cripple the business has been lack of communication. And it's just, it's so many different, so many different things that can make or break a, a company. But the one most, the most important thing that I've seen so far um, is lack of communication will absolutely destroy any any ability for a wow everything is so spongy today I don't know why um, will absolutely destroy any capability of succeeding and I've been to a lot of successful stores uh, a lot of successful businesses and I've seen I've seen management just work I've seen I've seen communication like really really I've seen great things really happen when a team is willing to talk to each other about their problems, about what's going on, about what needs to get done, about what needs to change, and really it just seems so basic, but right now as I'm heading into my, uh, into my job, I'm seeing that at this particular location, my management team does not work together. Uh, we're constantly pointing the finger at other people. Um, it's just not working, and I don't—I don't really know how to fix it. All I can really do is make sure that the people that I—I I deal with directly, the people underneath me, are are equipped with everything that they need to to succeed. And really, what's happening above me is I'm not getting the tools that I need to succeed. I'm. I'm asking all the right questions and I'm doing what I think is the right approach to things, but I am not, I, I'm not doing well. Let's just say that, I'm not doing well. In terms of performance, I'm, I'm not doing nearly as good as I should be doing. And I know rolling into the holiday seasons, my, my location should be doing way better than what it's doing right now. But it's just not, it's just not. It's because we lack communication, we lack organizational skills, and we're divided. We're a divided team, and we can't rely on each other to get things done because we don't communicate effectively what needs to get done and how it needs to get done. There's like a, there's like a gap between expectation and reality. And what I want you guys to do is like, I want you guys to focus on, on, on your jobs and on your, your education and what you're doing right now in this moment and figure out what you can do to make it better. Like right now, I'm just, it seems like I'm just complaining about, about lack of communication, but what I'm going to do today and what I'm going to do in the following weeks and up into the new year is I'm going to try to implement, implement a management strategy that focuses around communication. I'm gonna leave myself completely open to any form of communication. And if the other management team, other members of my management team decide to um, decide to follow me in this, we have a real chance at turning things around. And you know, I'm not gonna give you guys a problem without giving you guys a solution as well, or my at least a plan of attack. And you know, really, 
that's what a good leader does. A leader doesn't doesn't tell you what's wrong and then leave you to fix it. They tell you what's wrong and then they give you an explanation of what they expect for next time. And for example, um, there's a difference between leadership and loudership. Uh, I, it's like, it seems really simple, but there are people out there who have a position of leadership and all they do is they get loud. They use their position and then they just yell and they scream orders and they say, oh, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? And then there's real true leadership where that person assumes that role and they they set the person up for success and they diagnose what's going on and they prescribe a solution. And that's the difference between leadership and loudership. Um, a leader will be mature about the position, they won't get frustrated, they won't let their emotions get into it, and most importantly, they're gonna teach, they're gonna, well, look at all these Ford Rangers, one, two, three Ford Rangers, wow, that's kind of funny. Um, they'll teach as they see the opportunity so the people that they lead don't get discouraged. And I'm, I'm not one to get discouraged very easily, I'm one to see not only my job as a job, but I also see, you know, my job as an opportunity to learn. But uh, what I'm seeing right now is that my 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 senior member of my my uh, my boss is not giving me the tools that I need to succeed. And for example, last week uh, I was the inventory manager. Actually, the past couple the past couple weeks I've been the inventory manager, and um, I have a team of four or five people who. Um, who help me with this, my staff. Um, I, I tell them what to do and I tell them how to do it and I try to give them the most efficient way to do it and I explain to them why we're doing the things the way that we do. Um, but what happened was this week, um, I was not doing things the way that my boss expected them to be done. They're both two ways to get the same thing done. I just believe my way is more efficient um, but anyways, uh, there are, were a couple of things that I had honestly, um, I had made mistakes with, and, and he decided to discipline me in front of my staff. Um, all of my staff were there, all, all five, six people, and I have, very, I have a very good standing with my staff. I have a very good standing with, uh, with, in terms of respect and in terms of, um, you know, friendship. Because they're two totally different things. As their boss, I shouldn't be their friend, but I just happen to be their friend because I'm a friendly guy. Uh, but anyways, my boss decided that the best time to discipline me on my job as inventory manager was in front of all five or six of my staff. And he yelled at me. He yelled at me in front of my entire staff. And was that honestly the right way to approach things? I don't think so. Was it a way to approach things? Yes. Um, and that goes that goes from leadership to loudership. He was a loudership. He was he was being a he was being louder. He was being more. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. He was uh, he was definitely assuming that loudership role, and he he does that. He does that. And do I think it's fair? No, because my staff, they all, they all, they all understand why I do the things that I do, and and you know the reasons behind it. And you know it hurt, it hurt a little bit, but I'm a, I'm a man. I'll, I'll suck it up. But it was just in that moment that I realized, hey, I'm a better leader than that. And my staff knows it because was it disrespectful? Yes. Of course, my my boss is my boss. It's my job to it's my job to do what he says. But there was a different way to approach it that would have been a lot more mature, and it would have been to take me into the office and say, "Well, first, in front of all my staff, being like, hey, um, this wasn't done properly. You know, this is how it needs to be done,' and then call me into the office afterwards and discipline me there." But instead, he chose to discipline me in front of my staff and then not offer a solution. So it was like a, it was like a double whammy. Um, and you know, 
you if you are in a leadership role you have to choose whether or not you're gonna lead or you're gonna be loud and I want you guys to make the most at every opportunity there's gonna be times when you get loud and but there's times when you're going to need to genuinely lead and you know going into the holidays there's a lot of things that my staff are really down about. My staff are really losing morale because they see a management staff, they see a management team that isn't that isn't leading, they're not cohesive, they're not communicating, and it shows. It shows in the fact that when they ask for leadership, I can't give it to them because I don't know what the heck is going on. And if you have a leadership role, go and communicate with your other leaders and figure out how to do your job better and figure out what exactly your game plan needs to be because your job hinges on it because your boss can always say it's not my fault it's his fault it's it's that person's fault it's my underlings fault and there are times where that's going to legitimately legitimately be an excuse but you have to figure out just how much of that you're willing to take and how much you're willing to subject your your staff members to. And it gets really tiring really fast, let me tell you that. It gets really tiring really freaking fast. Because I'm a hard worker, I communicate effectively, but it goes in this situation, it just, oh man, I don't know what's going on. My brakes just don't just feels like everything's so slow um my staff they look to me for leadership and i look to my my higher ups for leadership and i'm just not getting it so it looks like i'm a bad looks like i'm a bad leader but in reality you know i just don't have i don't have everything on lock yet you know i'm today i'm gonna go in with an open mind and i'm gonna say hey boss man um I don't think our communication is working very well. What can I do differently in terms of making sure that what you say gets done? Um, you know, it's kind of tricky because my boss is really, really bad at that. And um, I'm really good at using my marching orders and, uh, and, getting, and getting that crap done because that's the kind of person I am. I'm a go-getter. I don't make excuses. I just... Uh, I just do it, but honestly, this is not an excuse. This is just this is just the true facts, you know. As crappy as that sounds, because um, I don't like complaining to you guys about it, but there's a lesson here. There is a, there's a lesson about communication and leadership versus loudership, and I want you guys to be leaders because you're gonna you're gonna find that life. Life has a tons. Of, life has tons of opportunity, um, and if you have a, a, a role of leadership, you you really you really need to be that light in people's day because you dictate the pace, you dictate the tempo of what's going on. Whether it's your family, whether it's your relationship, whether it's your job, whether it's your education. You either have to lead yourself and those around you, or you have to just suck it up and uh, and just do it. Just deal with all the garbage. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna make it into a vlog because you know I, I hate being negative about things, but this is just like such a huge deal, and there's such a big lesson to be learned that really you guys can benefit from it, and I know you guys can. So I don't know, guys. Um, guys thank you thank you thank you so much for tuning in and um if you guys have any questions or comments about leadership about ladership and about you know communication just uh feel free to drop it in the comments if you want to hear more about this life lesson stuff you know feel free to shoot me a topic in the comments and i'll talk about it and uh i'll give my two cents on it but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video and just remember who you are, what your real true character is, is what you do when no one's watching. And I hope you guys have a great day. Oh man, it just uh, just kills me. It kills me I have to go into this and, you know, 
I've been thinking about it all week, but uh, anyways, no one's watching. Have a great day, guys. Until next time, peace out.